Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Karen. I thought I'd give you a bit of a voiceover today even though I hate my voice. But here we go. So this is me doing my cousin's nails. She decided to choose an abundance of colours so I took a few away and then we decided to work with about four different kinds of glitter. So I'm just fitting up the tips making sure that they're nice and secure and that they're not overlapping on either side. So now I've fitted the tips, all I'm going to do is just file them into shape, just cutting off the sides, make it a little bit easier. I've already previously done all of the prep on these nails, so I'll leave you with this for a little while. So with the first nail I wanted to go in with a bit of an ombre glitter mix, um, stupidly because I am still new to this, I have only just qualified, I've tried to apply this on top of my acrylic and it had already dried because I used quick drying um, monomer, it's one of them learning curves, it still managed to stick in the end and then I encapsulated it, I was trying to get a few extra green bits in there because it seemed predominantly white.
So moving over to the second nail, um, I always put a thin layer of um, acrylic on when we're using a colour so it doesn't stay in the nail. This is Magenta from CJP. I absolutely love this colour but we decided to have one plain nail because she has chosen an awful lot of different glitters so we don't want to overdo it any. Uh, I just want to take this opportunity to thank everyone that's followed me and watched my videos so far. All I'm trying to do is just show you my progress and just to show a bit of persistence. It's, it's good. It's, I'm going to get better. I feel it. Okay, so I literally love, love, love this mix. All of my glitters I do buy, by the way, from um, Diamond Glitters. You can find them, um, just Google it. I, I've got them on Facebook, but literally the prices are awesome. The glitters are awesome. I have pretty much everyone that you can possibly imagine. But this one, this dot mix is, oh. And as you can see, I'm having a little bit of fun trying to get them little dots where I want them to be. Um, and then I'm just going to go straight in and encapsulate that nail as well. Just so then when I file it, I don't file off any of the little dots and I haven't got any half circles in there, which I can assure you has happened to me before. And then for the pointer finger, we're just going to put on some, I think it's called Polar Ice Mylar. It's like micro little shards of mylar, which are like uber shiny. Um, so we put that on there and then I'm going to go in and do another pink on the thumb, which we are going to hollow after that as well. And so my editing wasn't the best here, um, I did go a little bit out of shot there, um, but now I'm just showing you the thumb, which like I said before, we're going to put on the magenta again, and then we're going to go over that once we put our non-tacky top coat on, we're going to go over with hollow and then redo the top coat again. Um, I didn't record any of the filing at the end of this, but I did just go back in, just file over them lightly. I didn't really need to do very much filing to be fair. Um, and then just top coat and then that was it. So I'll leave you with that. Thank you again for watching. Um, and hopefully my videos and my editing will get much, much better in the future.